Okay, let's be honest here. A lot of us, for whatever reason, bought up a handful of stripped lowers without having an actual build plan for them. Those lowers, they're just sitting in the safe, waiting for the perfect project to come along and bring them to life. What better way to use up one of those lowers than to build a piston-driven AR? You know, something different from everything else that's in your safe. What I've got on the table today is the kit to build your own Jackal by Palmetto State Armory. Yes, you can order one pre-built. You can have it shipped to your local FFL. When it gets there, they'll give you a call. You can go down and fill out your paperwork for your background check, uh, wait through whatever your state requires for a waiting period, and then go back and pick it up. Usually there's some transfer fees involved there. And you know, the other option is you could just order one of these kits. You've already got one of these in your safe, I'm sure. So you cut through all the red tape of the background check because you already did one on this. All you really need is the upper assembly and all the parts to build out the lower. This video today is just going to be kind of an overview of the kit itself and how it works. I will be doing an actual review on the Jackal system itself later on, but today this is just an overview of the build kit. First, we have the upper receiver. That's gonna be upper receiver, uh, barrel, bolt carrier, and of course the handguard is sort of one piece built into uh, the upper receiver. The lower portion of the handguard does come off so you can access the barrel and gas system and all that, but we'll talk about that in the actual review video. Now they do sell several versions of these kits on the website. Uh, the one that I ordered specifically is the one that comes with all of the other parts to build out your lower. Uh, you have the hammer and trigger, uh, trigger guard, uh, it even comes with a uh, pistol grip. You've got all your springs and detents and all of that good stuff in a bag here. This kit is great if you have a stripped lower that you're going to need all of those components for. If you already have a lower that's built out uh, or you have a rifle that you want to convert over to a jackal, uh, you want one of the ones that just comes with the upper receiver and the uh, adapter set. This is the adapter and we'll take a closer look at this here in a few minutes but uh, this is one of the major differences between uh, standard AR and the Jackal. This is what helps you convert from the standard lower uh, over to the bufferless system. All the rest of the parts for the Jackal are essentially just standard AR parts. It's all stuff you're going to be familiar with, with the exception of the bolt catch. So because of the dimensions on the upper receiver, uh, this piece had to be made quite a bit flatter uh, than your standard AR part. So this one is going to be different. It's all basically the same shape, but it is uh, a little bit thinner, more streamlined. Real quick before we switch camera angles and I show you how this adapter piece works. Let's talk a little bit about my association with PSA. I friggin' love PSA. And most of you know that I am an affiliate for Palmetto State Armory. That means if you click one of my links that's posted all over the internet uh, for Palmetto State Armory, and then you purchase something, I make a couple of bucks. That's what keeps this channel going. That's what keeps the lights on here in the office. And I appreciate it every time you use my links, whether it's PSA, uh, Optics Planet, or you know Brownells or any of the other you know Amazon or any of the affiliate links that I have listed, um, you guys really are the lifeblood of this channel. Now PSA did send me this kit to check out and review, so take that for what you will. I review stuff how I see it, regardless of whether I pay for it out of pocket or if a company sends it to me. You guys should be used to that by now. These are the basics. This is what's going to allow you to go ahead and build your own jackal out of a stripped lower or convert your existing lower over to a uh, jackal setup. This guy right here is going to replace your buffer tube, and then these are for actually attaching them to your lower. This screw right here is going to go through that little disc, which is then going to screw right into there through your receiver. So by now we all know that there's a lot of stuff that YouTube just won't let me show. Uh, but I can tell you that this disc right here, it's going to screw into the back where previously you had a buffer tube. Um, your spring and detent are still going to go in that hole as per usual. This guy right here comes up through there, right? And it's going to screw into this piece. 
huh? Just like that. You're going to want to use a little bit of Loctite so that screw doesn't come loose. But once you're done, you've got a lower receiver ready to build a Jackal. All right, well that just about sums it up for this overview. Whether we are talking about the 5.56 version of the Jackal or the 300 Blackout or apparently soon to come, they plan on doing a 9mm as well as a 7.62 whether we're talking about a 10 and a half inch or a 13.7 pinned and welded model, this is all going to be the same. This is what you can expect out of one of these conversion kits. I put one of these together for a buddy last week and it was actually super easy. If you've built an AR, this is gonna be really familiar to you. All right guys, that's gonna be it today. I'm out of here. Time for me to assemble my Jackal kit so that I can get out to the range, test it out, and get started on that review video. Till then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you real soon.